Um, big baby. Yeah, big baby got dude, big. Dude, dude, yeah. Dude, I don't know. Like, yeah. it's been it's been two years. Uh, excuse me, it's been four years since the suspension. It, yeah, all those suspensions has been through the course of four years, and this is what you come back with. Nah, he fought somebody before this. Yeah, you're right. He did. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. What's a couple? That was a couple months ago. Like what? In the last three to yeah, f- three it, months. It wasn't four months, very maybe. long. They were both they were very big guys. Yeah. Uh, and the super it was Derek Cardenas. Yeah. That uh, was what a two round fight. Nah, it, it was a ten round fight. It went four. He got him out of there. Yeah. Yes, but it went four rounds. Yeah. Yeah. I said two and went four. Yeah, he, he won. He fought twice last year. One fight, he went all ten. So he, he wanted to show you his shape. So maybe if anything, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <he> said, <laughs> but then he's not in shape, you know. Yeah, then so, he's not in shape. Did you see highlights or anything in this fight? Last I night? saw highlights. How was it? It, it was okay. It was okay. It was. It was okay. Came in at three thirty three. My other guy came in two seventy seven. Yeah. If he's around that, at this point, if he's around three hundred. I mean, you take a look at the body. He's got a 330. Mm-hmm. You say lose 30 pounds, your body's going to be a little bit better. But here's the bottom line for big baby Jarrell Miller. And I didn't write any of this down. I don't need to write this down. Here's the bottom line. Styles make fights. For his, for his style, he needs to be lighter. If he's lighter, he performs better. Um, 2016, 2022. If he's lighter, he performs better. People want to see you. He's always been a bigger guy. What's his age? Because but, but he always had a little muscle under there. Because he's fighting through two things. He's he's fighting through thirty four. He's fighting through his reputation of let's put it call a spade with a spade. He's he's fighting through the reputation of being a cheater. Yep. So yeah, that's, undefeated too. That's going it's going to no take you a long time to overcome four years of disputing and being. Caught and all these testing positive and all it's gonna take you a long time because of four years of that, and people have tried to put you back on and it, and it happens mm-hmm. again. It's like who's gonna trust you? I guess right now this was a Golden Boy card. If he's not signed with Golden Boy, maybe they'll look to do some things with him. I have no doubt. <laughs> Bernard is gonna tell him exactly what I'm saying right now. No, Big really? baby, you gotta lose some weight. You gotta lose some weight. If you're not losing some weight, we can't put you on. We gotta find somebody to get you in the ring with. Because number one, you got to find a fighter to say, okay, mm-hmm. and look beyond everything he's done. Mm-hmm. What fighter is really going to want to do that? So once Golden Boy, whoever it is, finds that guy who's willing to to, to buy to, to 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 accept the money that they're that they're given. I think the guy that he just fought was forty three. So you you know like it's never going to even itself out. So the best thing he can do, he can talk himself into a fight. Mm-hmm. But I can tell you, Deontay Wilder not gonna touch you, and and it's it's at this point it's substantial. Like you, is what it is. Tyson Fury's not gonna touch you. Uh, I I I think that a fight with um Anthony Joshua makes sense because he's not elite anymore. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have that elite status or reputation anymore. Uh, Alexander Usyk ain't gonna touch you. You're undefeated. You're 34. You you want to fight the best. You from New York. You ain't here to play games. Let's let's call it. It is what it is. So he got a lot to fight through just to get in the ring with the elite. The best thing you can do <laughs> in terms of trying to get in the ring with the elite is get your weight down and perform and make people want to see you against the elite. Make people want to take you serious. Nobody's taking you serious because of your uh, situations. And then on top of that, you're overweight and you're fighting 43 old men. Hold on, Sean. There was a guy that jumped in the ring last night and went to rumble with him. Oh! Yeah, something like Ma Char. He's 34 and 4, 20 KOs. He's 38 years old. He's from, uh, he, oh, he lives in Dubai? And he went to rumble with him. Okay. This guy right here, home. <laughs> this guy right here. He, so he got in the ring last night, started talking a little mess. I think Big Baby Miller said, if the money's right, we can make it. Where he come from? Dubai. Well, he's German. Yeah. Lives in Dubai. A birthplace is Syria. Uh okay. I'm down for it. He is 34 and 4. And so again, like now you show up. Now you show up. Now you got somebody that that jumped in the ring and called yeah. you out. 
you know um and I, I I do. I feel like we spent too much time on this as yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, shout <laughs> but, out to Babe Miller. You know, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I, so I, obviously, personality mm-hmm. out of this world um, has the the size <laughs> to fight a heavyweight. Mm-hmm. Um, just needs to do some, you know, some soul searching and some and some commitment, I mean, like make some commitments, stay stay true to those commitments, mm-hmm. and show that you're doing all the right things to to get people to want to see you against the best. Because at 34 years old. And you are undefeated. You need to be in the ring against the best and nothing less. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I did that. I did that.